So thanks for joining us, Tom. Tell us a little bit about your role and your company and its background. Yeah, uh, my name is Tom McMillan. I'm the manager, managing director of Timeless Engineering, or title also known as Timeless Tube. Um, we're a specialist um, tube shaping company that take round tubes and shape it into different profiles. It's used on sort of marine, in marine applications and architectural, um, yeah, architectural applications. And we also offer sort of uh, fabrication and polishing services. So let's rewind. COVID was a, a really difficult time for everyone. Tell me about the impact it had on your business and, and what it felt like at the time. Yeah, it was quite an intimidating time, I think, for a lot of businesses, um, including us. Um, quite a few of our clients shut. Um, the marine, Some major marine companies and uh, a lot of construction architectural stuff just ground to a halt. So there wasn't hardly any inquiries coming through um we had to yeah kind of didn't shut officially but still taking inbound inquiries and just kind of working from home so yeah, it was very quiet not many orders and yeah it's quite a daunting sort of time <laughs> so tell us a little bit about how you heard about the bounce back challenge grants and and what made you apply for it um we heard about the grant it was actually through my colleague Jess um she's very well connected with BCP and um some of the forums and things like that um so we the, the, the main project that we um focused on was uh a, a marine project really um we could saw an opportunity when things started opening up to yeah focus on a, a, a marine sort of marketing campaign and um yeah it's kind of where we we saw the opportunity and and that's where we 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 used the sort of funding so walk us through the project that you undertook in your company and the difference it made yes yeah, so we developed a a new profile this is like a radius rectangle profile typically we we produce like oval and like they're kind of our normal sort of uh, profiles but we allowed us to experiment and buy some tooling to to work this new profile up so um that was one project and then also we had this hinge mechanism um which was part of a boat rail that we helped install um it's kind of like a nice concealed design so um yeah that was another another project that we worked on so we've spoken a little bit about the journey that your business has been on tell us a little bit more about how the grant has helped you to grow and expand and and what comes next for timeless the, the funding massively helped us grow we took on a few um new, new new guys that were really skilled in the sort of marine marine um sort of field and it allowed us to buy some tooling as well at the same time so it kind of like gave us a bit of a cushion and and um confidence to push into the marine sector even more so than what we were doing um and prior to that we were mainly doing just the tube forming and shaping so this kind of allowed us to expand into this fabrication and polishing kind of um yeah side as well so it yeah it's opened up a lot of doors um and opportunities so hopefully we've now uh, moved on from COVID, but of course we're facing new challenges in the future with the cost of living and the inflationary environment. How do you think your business is now set up to deal with those challenges? And do you think that the, the grant has helped in that endeavor? We've, we've grown quite a lot in this last sort of 18 months. Um, and our sort of, you know, the next challenge is to, to, to look at um, a new premises and we do want to grow more um, and but we are quite limited at the moment with our sort of site that we're at um, so that's like our next big challenge really is to kind of get our get our feet in the door of a, of a new new site. So how did you find the support from the council and what advice would you give to other businesses that are looking to try and weather these new challenging times? Um, yeah we've had a, a yeah, a decent amount of support from from BCP. Um, there's uh, some 
a marine and construction forum that we've we're a part of so there's lots of exciting projects that come up within them and opportunities to network and there's yeah lots of little events and yeah they're really really good for sort of small businesses that are looking to grow or or, or get out there and push push work 